Mr. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. And we're going to mix it up today and talk about a few different tokens. We're going to talk about a little bit of passive. We're going to talk about this blue chip, HBAR. HBAR is looking bullish. Okay, guys, I've been watching this for a couple of days and I was hoping that it would put in sort of like a bull flaggy type of formation at this point or when it reached these highs over here, uh, just like we saw with Near Protocol. And a few other coins that we've been com uh, make, doing price comparisons to. Uh, but HBAR just keeps going, okay? It's now in price discovery. But if you're buying this, you are buying the top. So it's very, uh, you know, it's very dangerous at the moment. I would put a stop loss if it does actually fall below this moving average at about 38 cents. Okay, guys, but this one's looking less like near protocol and more like Luna at the moment. It's just curving up. Looks like it wants to do a parabolic curve. And just blast to the upside and um, you know it will bring long-term gains but we're looking at short-term gains at the moment short to mid-term hold uh this is a potentially good play hbar had eric hash graph is backed by you know google in fact we've got a council with so many top players in the finance world and in the tech world and and so on okay you've got boeing google uh, and you know just many you know top uh, uh companies that are involved in this okay guys and if we draw a fibonacci from the previous high okay so we have the previous high over there right so it just shows us a potential target okay of around 64 cents in the short to midterm we have the 2.618 about a dollar okay or 97 cents and obviously ultimate target if it was to do it could be looking at about one dollar and 50 cents potentially okay guys but me personally i'll be looking to take profits at this level unless you were deciding to hold this for the next six months obviously your target would potentially be all the way up here and obviously in the bull run it could supersede that target and make astronomical gains but i think h bar is definitely one for you to keep an eye on especially even in the short term if you do get a pullback from this level by the pullback okay we have a clear level of uh, uh a pullback level here at the 0.786 so that could be a good buy zone and obviously if it does fall a little bit further we've got the 0.618 and then we have the golden pocket just below that so um yeah keep your eye on h bar could be a good play for you in the short to mid term definitely a good play for you in the long term just my opinion not financial advice do your own research and all that sort of stuff okay guys just want to update you on my stakes for rex okay so i've actually done a few scrapes okay some of you might be thinking why am i doing that uh, the main reason is that i did these stakes when i didn't really know uh, fully what was happening with this platform didn't do my research extensively now i understand that i need to be doing the the you know the maximum stakes for five 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 days okay which is about 15 years and um basically it made sense for me to scrape these stakes, which were only paying me like 2%, 3%, 5% interest. Okay, guys, and then I can compound them into one and make a complete new stake. So I, so I scraped about 30,000 Rex, and I staked that for the uh, the 5,555 days. It hasn't kicked in yet, as you can see, but that will give me 15% a day on that as opposed to 3%, 2% on these stakes, which are only for like a year, five years, even like a 30-day stake. Okay, guys, so that made sense to just scrape it, compound it up. Obviously, I will get less shares on these, but these are my small shares, you know, like 18,500 Rex. I think I took my first big buy, I took it and I just split it up into four different stakes, which is why they're equal, uh, equal amounts, but over different lengths of time. So they're paying out different levels of interest. Okay, so obviously I scraped those, staked those, and I'm getting 15% a day. Update on my big stake from yesterday. This is my biggest stake, which I wrapped into one. 352,000 Rex, and I'm getting 15% a day. Okay, guys, if you work out the price of Rex, um, what am I getting today? Uh, let's just have a look. If we go to Pancake Swap, and we pull up Rex, we've got 51,000 154 okay so 51,154 that works out about 0.8 bnb on just that stake and that will be daily um according to the price of rex at the moment obviously if rex falls that will be less a day and if rex goes up that will be more 
a day, but that's decent. You know, we're looking at about three to four hundred dollars a day uh, just staking on Rex. Okay, guys. Obviously, if you do the maximum stake, you get the fifteen percent. Uh, if you use my link in the description, obviously you get a 10% extra bonus. Okay, I haven't gone into today's auction, um, but I'm going to be adding more to this. Of course, I'm getting referral recs as well, and I'll just compound that up and stake that as well. The dap's kind of slowing me down at the minute. Um, as you can see, I'm a Club 555. I have my T-Rex, I have my M-Rex. All that's missing is the Ultra Rexican status. And obviously, if I'm not sure actually what that gives me if I get that. Let's just have a look and see what it says here. Uh, when the referral BNB of the referrer exceeds 25 BNB and a BN withdrawn, the referrer is appointed an Ultra Rexican. In the main Rex Smart contract, Ultra Rexicans are being surprised with extra benefits revealed in the future. So it's not doing anything for you at the moment, but in the future. If I do manage to achieve the ultra Rexican status, that's obviously going to allow me to get more benefits later. The Club 55 or Club 5555 five five is for the maximum stake, which is, enables me to get my 15% uh, along with my, uh, as long as I'm holding some T-Rex and I can scrape it as long as I'm holding some M-Rex. Um, but yeah, all of these are benefiting me at the moment. So I want to keep these green. I want to keep that status. I'm not going to sell my T-Rex. I'm not going to sell my M-Rex. In fact, I believe if I add some more to my M-Rex and get the maximum, which is 20. Um, no, it was 20. Okay, there is no maximum at the moment. So you can hold as many T-Rex as you can get a hold of. There's only a 1,000 in the total supply. So obviously, it's not going to be very e uh, easy to get a lot of them. But um Rex as well before it was, uh, sorry, MREX before it was 20 maximum that you were able to purchase and mint through the contract. But obviously you can buy these on pancake swap now, so there is no maximum that you can, um, well, there's, yeah, the, well, yeah, there's no maximum that you can hold or purchase through the contract. But whatever is on the market is, that is available, you can buy that obviously, but it will take somebody to sell some into the market um, for you to obtain it. And obviously there is some liquidity um, at the moment, I know that much, so you can literally pick these tokens up. But yeah, 15% on this. I'm going to leave my link in the description so you guys can participate on this if you want. Passive income, guys. Use my link in the description, get an extra 10% bonus. And then when you go over to the staking dashboard, stake it. Make sure you have a strategy. I've tried to explain this the best that I can over the time that I've been using it. It's trial and error. Okay, guys, obviously I've made some mistakes on how I can maximize my returns over time, um, but I'm learning and I'm um, I'm really impressed with this platform. I think what the strategy is, is once you get to, you know, a couple of hundred percent, for example, um, you would probably scrape that and then restake half of it and sell half of it or restate the whole amount. Okay, because obviously you're compounding it up and then over time, you're going to make a lot more returns on this over time remember this has a token um which you can buy on pancake swap as well but i recommend buying it through the the platform and then staking it getting the extra 10 percent by buying it through the platform as well staking it and getting your rewards that way okay and obviously that's going to mint more rex make more rex available over time um i think when the um when the auction days end at 365 days you will no longer be able to mint new wrecks and there will be a total fixed supply after that. I'm not sure if there's any burns or anything like that, but it's definitely a great concept and a great platform. Uh, people are saying it's like the next hex and uh, I think it potentially could do really well. I mean, it doesn't have to even hit the same kind of market cap as hex for you to make a lot of money. Okay, if it makes a tenth of that, <laughs> you're laughing.